everyone. I'm Lisa from Pink Hollybush Designs and welcome back to Make Your Daughter a Dress. Today is lesson nine and we're going to finish up that waist seam and attach our piping and get all ready to um, attach our bodice and skirt together. We're coming into the home stretch and um, our dress is going to be finished soon. So let's get started. First of all, if you haven't created your piping yet, please go back to the bonus um, video on piping. It will walk you through how to um, attach your two strips, to how to sew them together, and then create your piping yardage. So pause this video, go do that, and then come on back, and you'll be ready to get started on this lesson. Okay, here I have um, my bodice and I have uh, my piping and I'm attaching the piping to the bodice because we're making the gathered skirt version. Now I know that some of you are smocking the skirt and so um, in a minute I'm going to show you how you would attach the piping if you were smocking the skirt. Um, in that case, you would attach the piping to the skirt, not to the bodice. But for this lesson, we're going to do, we're going to attach it to the bodice. So I've sewn my two um, strips of piping together, you, that number eight um, piece that's included in your pattern, and there's the seam allowance. And the um, strip is should be a little bit bigger than even the largest size and I did that so you wouldn't have to put this seam right at center front now because I'm making the size three I have a lot of extra so I can put it all the way onto the back but if you're making a larger size make sure it will go all the way to the back but shift the piece over a little bit just so that seam allowance that um seam, not seam allowance, but seam isn't sitting right there in center front. Once this is stitched, it's really hard to see that um, seam at all, but just in case it's not sitting there right where your eye is looking in center front. So I'm going to use my clips and I'm lining up raw edges. I've also, as you can see here, have the lining pulled away. So I'm only clipping this to the fashion fabric. And when we come over here to the back edge, I've actually taken a pin. Let me get one more clip in here and then I'll show you. I've taken a pin and I've pinned that lining up out of the way just to make sure I don't catch it. And I'm going to pin one more clip. All right, one right there. Now, turn it over so you can see. There's my raw edge. And I'm going to cut this about a half inch beyond it. Now, I'm going to get that tweezers and get um, my piping cord out of that half inch again. And remember, it's better to get more out than less. Okay, there's my half inch. Now, I'm going to fold this piping. And this catching it right. I'm gonna fold the piping back on itself. I'm hoping you can see that. Okay, and I'm gonna put a clip. Okay, and so this raw edge of the piping is going to be in the seam allowance. So when you're folding it back, you can see I'm not perfectly lined up, but you need to keep the fold back within your seam allowance there, okay? 
Now I'm going to go to my sewing machine. I'm going to put on my piping foot. I'm going to start at this side and I'm just going to start stitching. And at this point, I'm not going to finish the other end. I'm going to do that at the machine. So I'm going to put a couple more clips in just so I'm holding it. But I'm going to show you that um, at the machine. Now, this is also, rather than doing clips like I am right now, you certainly could use your glue based it, and this would be a great place to do it. And if you do that, I would um, glue it all along here. Don't glue right at the end um, over here. <laughs> And don't glue at this end either. You do need to have um, a clip or a pin that's holding that fold back for you. So um, let's go to the machine and I'll show you how we're going to do this. Okay. I promise that those of you who were doing the smocked version of the skirt, I would explain how you attach the piping and I just want to do that um, for you now. So we're going to pretend that I've smocked my skirt rather than gathered it. And we're going to pretend that this pin, I hope you can see that blue head, is my top line of stitching. So to attach the piping, as I said, you're going to want to attach it to the skirt. And you're going to take your piping, you're going to line up the raw edges, hopefully, um, but more importantly, you want to put that the piping cord right along that top line of um, smocking. And you're going to use your clips and go along, lining it right up with the smocking, even if that means you're not perfectly lined up up here. Visually, you want the distance between that cord and that line of smocking to be consistent. And I hope you can see that here on this July flowers dress that I did smock. Here's the piping cord and this black line is the um, top row of stitching. Now, they don't have to be touching. You'll see there's fabric showing in between. But the goal is to get the distance between that top line of pipe the top line of smocking and the piping to be consistent so it doesn't look like it's doing waves when you look at the dress. So once you've pinned the piping, uh, or clipped it, I should say, to the front of the skirt, um, you want to just focus on the front and, and really get it right. Um, you need to make sure that you've left enough piping at either end to go around the back, but don't sew the back right now. Get your piping all lined up with the line of smocking. Then this is real, where I really love the glue based it. Take your glue based it, use um, the tip that puts out just a drop, and go around and put drops of glue in between the clips between the piping and the skirt so that you're gluing that piping and just do that on the front. Then after you've put the glue on, go do something else. Put a load of laundry in, check your email, do whatever you need to, but give the glue a couple minutes to really set. Then come back, take your clips and shift them and go around and glue again where your clips were. And then again, give it a couple minutes to set so that you've really gotten that um, piping glued on to the skirt. At that point, go over to your machine, put your piping foot on, and stitch just the front on uh, of the pipe and stitch the um, piping just onto the front of the skirt. Then check and make sure you're happy with it. Once you're completely happy with how you have the front um, skirt done, then you come over and you do the, um, the piping onto both backs. 
and you can just then stitch from the side seam to the back. Okay, I'm back at my machine. I have my piping foot on. Um, I have that a seam allowance about a third to half an inch folded back on itself. I've set my machine for a straight stitch and I've shortened it a little bit down to 2.0 and I have my needle shifted over so it's hugging up against that piping. Remember if you don't have a piping foot use your zipper foot. Now I'm going to back tack I also have this pin holding um, that uh, lining away from, um, so I make sure I don't catch it. And I'm just gonna sew straight along that piping. That pin's now in my way, but it did its job. And I'm making sure that my um, seam allowances are lined up. Okay, I've come to um, the other edge of um, the end of my bodice where I'm attaching the piping. I'm going to put my needle down and I'm going to clip um, this piping so it's even with um, the raw edge of the bodice, maybe giving even a little bit extra. Okay. I'm going to get my tweezers and get that um, little piping cord out of the seam allowance. Get that started. There we go. There we go. Clip that off. And I'm doing it this way so I can make sure I have the exact amount that I need and that I didn't short myself a little bit. And I could have given myself even a little bit more. It's amazing once you actually clip it how it kind of loses a little bit length there. And now I'm just going to go right to the edge. And again, I'm making sure as I do this that I don't catch that lining fabric. You can use something to hold it if you need to. And then back tack. Okay, so there you see that's going to give us a nice. Um, beautifully finished edge when this is all put together. Okay, so that's how it looks. And over here, that's going to fold back there and you'll have that nice edge. Okay. All right, we need to gather the um, waistline of our skirt. And to do that, we're going to run um, two lines of gathering thread like we did for the ruffle. So you're going to use a straight stitch length. You're going to set it for the longest stitch possible on your machine. That's a five on mine. And you're going to run that parallel to the waist edge. You're going to run one line at a quarter inch and a second line at five eighths of an inch. Now on the back, you're going to start just past the um, placket and run that gathering stitch to the side seam. Remember, you don't back tack when you're doing a gathering stitch. So you run it from the placket to the side seam. And same thing here, placket to the side seam. On the front, you're going to do the same thing, but run the gathering stitch from side seam to side seam. Without, um, again, without back tacking. 
so we can use those two threads to pull it up and gather the waistline. So I've done those two gathering stitches and um, I just wanted you to see I didn't catch the side seams when I was doing that. I actually started out a little bit away from each of the side seams and um, stitched across the um, back and then the front and the other back as well. So um, your homework for this lesson is to get your piping attached and um, your gathering threads on your skirt and I will be back um, next week and we are I guess no in two days right and we will um, attach the um, bodice and skirt together so happy sewing <laughs>